gets a, gets a lot of flack because a lot of people they just don't understand. River through the valley, there's a tree with a hanging rope. And on a bank you lay about God, and it's about the outdoors, hunting, fishing, trapping. This episode brought to you by Jasco Products, makers of the Eco Survivor Lantern. Stand up to the elements. Friend knife making, quality knives made in America. Beanville Outdoors, home of Deep South Trapping Lures and Old South Deer Lures. The All American Sun Oven, the ultimate solar appliance. Red Feather Archery, home of the Talon. Nice targets. A superior shooting experience. Hello there, T Mac here, Wild for the Outdoors. Welcome to this week's episode. And man, do we have a special episode for you today. It's very special to me. This is my daughter's very first deer hunt of any kind. Uh, we've been working on it throughout for the summer, shooting the guns, getting her a rifle that she likes to shoot, which in this one she liked the 223. I know a lot of people think, man, that's an awful light load. 223 will get the job done if they put it in the right position. So that's what she's using. That's what she was comfortable with. It works for me. Uh, this is a very special hunt. I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned. Alright, well, as you can see, we're just out here on a practice run. We're uh, getting ready for tomorrow's hunt. Tomorrow is opening day of youth rifle season. I've got Haley two tags, buck or a doe. She's never killed a deer, so she's going to try it this year. She's been shooting. She's shooting a 223. Kind of a light load, but she likes it, so that's what we're going to use. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we're just out here practicing. I didn't want to bring her out here in the dark and have her go through this in the dark. So, we're practicing. It's daylight, middle of the day, wind's blowing like crazy. We can get, around, we can get away with a lot of noise right now. I'm just getting her used to this. And I suggest if you have a first time hunter, you do the same. Do a practice run. I still do practice runs every season before I go out and hunt. Thank you. 
shot. Good shot. He's going down. He's going down right there. He's going down right there. I can't see anything. Man, I think you blasted him. <laughs> I shot him like a right there. That's a perfect shot right towards you like that. <sighs> Can we go find him now? Hold on, just give him a minute. The Eco Survivor Lantern. Stand up to the elements. Utilizing patented technology, the Eco Survivor Lantern delivers a consistent white light with unprecedented energy efficiency. This Lantern series provides an omnidirectional battery operated solution that omits a brilliant white 350 lumen light with a range of up to 50 feet. Three level dimming feature, durable locking carabiner handle, providing versatility, allowing it to be carried or hung anywhere. The Eco Survivor Lantern's tough, rugged exterior and design makes it perfect for any outdoor adventure. Utilizing the ever popular Realtree design in pink, orange, and green, the Eco Survivor Lantern suits your personality. Are you tired of changing out targets all the time? Then I'd like to introduce you to Nice Targets, a superior shooting experience, recyclable, long-lasting, weather and UV resistant. 100% more shots equals half the cost. Nice targets. High resolution, photorealistic. Nice targets are quality, cost efficient targets made in America. And plus, just look how good they look. I'd hang this stuff up in my wall. It's like having art in the room. They also make traditional style range targets for all your other shooting needs. Next time you have to choose between paper and plastic, Go with the plastic. Red Feather Archery presents the Talon. This devastating small game head is machined from a solid piece of steel, combining the blunt force trauma of a traditional blunt with the cutting edges of a three blade broadhead. Scallop tip helps reduce snaking for a better arrow retrieval with field point like accuracy. daughter shoot a first deer. <laughs> I can't quit shaking. And, and it ain't even that cold. My hands are cold now. You did it, man. I know you smoked that, dude. I know you did. I hope I didn't shoot it in the neck because I don't feel bad. That angle, that angle that deer was facing you, just like I told you, right in this area, that's the spot. Boom. This is his shoulder and then here is his head. I got to figure it in the middle. <laughs> I can't quit shaking them It's terrible. Let's go. Let's go see some blood. What do you think? Let's go see some blood. <laughs> You're just like... <laughs> you got the perfect shot. So this perfect shot. Oh yeah, right now, always approach a deer from back here. y'all haven't experienced this this is my first time experiencing this this is my daughter's first deer and she put the hammer on him man <laughs> uh, 
How many points you got? Four. Four pointer. Woo! Good job, sis. It's cold. <laughs> you ready to go drag him out of here? Yes, I am. She's cramping up. She's <laughs> she's cold. I tell you what, she toughed it out though, and that deer kind of seen us moving down in there, but she kept going and kept on him and put a heck of a good shot on him right there. I mean, boo, he didn't go. What'd he go? 40 yards maybe, 30? Awesome. All right, now here's another tip I want to talk to everybody about, and that is know your backing. All right, I went home with my daughter yesterday. She shot her first deer, nice little four-point buck. She put a heck of a shot on him. And, I mean, I was so proud of her, but in the camera, it appeared like the other deer was standing right behind her deer. And, you know, I'm looking at it on the film, and I'm thinking, man, that didn't look like that. Well, the camera angle, and from where she was shooting, was just a little bit different. Now, from where she was at, the other deer was partly covered by that big tree right next to him. And, you know, it just looked like that deer was right behind her. And I got to thinking, man, it was because I don't remember looking like that either. You know, I had the camera set on there, and then I was trying to help her. And, you know, I was plum excited. She was excited. So, you know, and that's about the time that mistakes are made. So, you know, it looks closer than it really was on video. But it just brought back to mind that all you young people, and even you older guys like me, who's taking these young people out, I know we get excited. We're ready for them to shoot something. We're just so pumped got to make sure of your backing. You, if that other deer would have been too far over, you know, that bullet could have went through, hit that deer, and then you'd had problems. So always know what's behind your deer or whatever it is you're shooting at. Always make sure you have a good backing. That's just a basic tip that you start out learning when you're shooting and sometimes, you know, in the in the rush of things, you know, those little things you don't want to forget. Those are important things that you don't want to forget. You know, luckily, nothing happened. I checked it out. After I seen it on the video, I thought, man, I better go look. I went back and looked. There was no other deer hurt. So, even though it looked closer than it was, it really wasn't that close. But, it just brings back to mind. Always know what you're shooting at, and always know what's behind what you're shooting at. Autism awareness isn't just about the statistics. It's about the facts, the people involved, and the struggles they go through daily. The All-American Sun Oven, the ultimate solar appliance. At only 22 pounds, this quality American-made product is perfect for camping, hunting, or an emergency situation. The ability to bake, boil, steam, and dehydrate with just the power of the sun. Friend knife making quality knives made right here in the good old U.S. of A. Hand forged custom knives, hawks and leather working. You can visit their website at www.friendknifemaking.com <laughs> Hammer Time Custom Calls by Joey Dopp. If you all know me, you know I use Joey Dopp's Hammer Time Custom Calls. Joey he makes these all handmade and custom to order. He has a lot of different woods you can choose from and stuff, so check him out on Facebook or email him at joeydop at gmail.com. You want to get closer to game? You better have your game face on. Are you ready to take your trapping and hunting to the next level? Visit BindvilleOutdoors.com, home of Deep South Trapping Lures, Old South Deer Lures. They also have traps, snares, trap supplies, fur handling gear, books, DVDs, clothing, and a wealth of knowledge for any outdoorsman. Bindville Outdoors, check them out today at www.BindvilleOutdoors.com.
today we're gonna do a little venison chili out here on the over the fire. This is just gonna be real simple ingredients. Got ground up venison. That's a, about a pound or more. Actually, it's about a pound and a half. A couple cans of stewed tomatoes. I grew this and made this myself. But uh, you can do the store bought stuff too. If I was going to do the store bought stuff, I'd do one can of diced and one can of stewed. I like my chili with a lot of big chunks of tomato. And I brought a bag of diced up onions and bell peppers with a teaspoon of minced garlic all in a bag here. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put that in there first. A little oil. Gotta get that fire built up. It's smoking me out. Put a little oil in there. Add the onions, garlic, bell pepper, right out of the bag in there. We also got a can of red beans. And of course seasonings. I got seasoned salt and chili powder. Chili powder to taste. Salt to taste. Pretty easy. Alright. Next, we're going to add the venison. Killed by yours truly. Now we're going to add, while our meat's not cooked, we're going to add our seasoned salt. our chili powder. I just take the top off of that sucker. There we go. Wheels on wheels is here. All right. Meat's all browned up. Time to add the stewed tomatoes or tomatoes as I like to call them. Then add your red beans or do it without beans. I know a lot of people that don't like chili with beans. I can't imagine chili without beans. Build up our fire a little bit and let that simmer for a while. Approximately 30 minutes. Let's see how we did. Tell you what, a touch of black pepper and we're there. Whew. A touch of crushed red pepper, we'd really be there, but then I'd be eating it by myself. So, hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy these videos. We've got a lot more cooking to come. All right, I'm getting a fever to get out here and do some cooking. The weather's getting right. Turkey season right around the corner. Go check us out on Facebook, Wild for the Outdoors. Like us, share us with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel here. And uh, you know, for any more of these cooking and hunting and anything outdoors, go check out our website, www.wildfortheoutdoors.com. I'd like to thank everybody out there who watches these videos and enjoys them. All the comments I get every day, I love it. The emails, uh, 
the invites, and you know, I just really appreciate it. And you know, God willing, I'll get to do this for a lot longer. But I really, I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And until next time, remember this is your God-given duty to manage this land, and there ain't nothing that tastes better. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Eco Survivor Lantern. I absolutely love this thing. This is a Jasco product, a Jasco Products product, and it is a really fantastic lantern for any outdoor adventure. Camping, hunting, fishing, whatever you want to do. It's rugged. I mean, you're not going to tear, I mean, you're going to try to tear this thing up, I guarantee it. Uh, it's, I've had this thing in the like front of my truck for a month and it's fallen in the floorboard and it rolled around and still performing absolutely fantastic uh, as you can see it's got a three well you can see it's better at night but it's got a three levels of dim for whatever however much light you need if you need a lot of light if you don't need a lot of light uh, this this right here is fantastic the uh, carabiner handle click click you can hang in anywhere and you just a limb, a piece of wood, a pole, it, it doesn't matter. You can hang it anywhere. And uh, it runs on six D batteries. Now, that's pretty easy to get into, wasn't it? What's really cool about this system is you don't have to have all six batteries for this thing to work. Maybe you're go hiking in somewhere and you got to watch your weight as far as what you're carrying in you know I'm carrying in enough weight as it is but <laughs> if you want to really cut down on some weight this thing you take out three of these now the light only lasts half as long when you take these out with all six batteries on low it lasts for 140 hours actually more than 140 hours so you're losing half that whenever you take out half the batteries makes sense all right does to me Get that thing in there. Now, check that out. Still works with half the batteries. You know, if you're like me and you go out and you spend money on a product, you want that product to perform. And this performs. It's worth the money. And what I also really enjoy about this lantern is you don't have to tune it up before every trip you go out in the woods like you did them old lanterns. You don't have to go, oh, I gotta go buy this, I gotta go buy that, oh, I gotta crack glass, oh, I gotta get fuel, oh, I gotta, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's like you gotta tune the thing up like a car before you take it on a camping trip. Not this. You just grab it and go. And you've got enough light to last you a pretty good while out in the woods. So go check it out. The Eco Survivor Lantern by Jasco Products and stand up to the elements. May I tell you what, that was an awesome, awesome hunt. There's nothing quite like getting to see your child take their first animal. I don't care what it is, it just happened to be extra special, it was a white-tailed deer. You know, that's my favorite type of game to chase. She done absolutely fantastic, her first buck, and it might be her only buck, that it doesn't matter. She got out there and she done it. And I was so proud of her, still so very proud of her. Deer chili, I tell you what, my favorite recipe. Ground up venison, uh, over the campfire, in a uh, Dutch oven, it just don't get any better than that. Or you can do it on your own oven at home. Either way, use that recipe, I know you're going to love it. Thanks for watching, I hope you all enjoy it. Join in, I know you're going to enjoy it. And be sure to check out our sponsors. They're the reason why we're here. And you're the reason why I'm here. So God bless y'all. Love you. I'll see you next time. For tons more videos, go to our YouTube channel, Wild for the Outdoors. You can also see them at www.wildfortheoutdoors.com. And don't forget to go to Facebook, like us, share us with your friends. And hey, remember, it's your God-given duty to manage this land.
Let's go.